I administer the contrast media on control lateral oblique image guidance. I can watch some contrast media leaking out of the capsule and some contrast fills the joint correctly. Today, I'll share a clinical practice of transforamular injection with ipsilateral facet joint injection in case of right L5 primary stenosis in patients with high iliac crest. Wait a second. What is it? It is my secret of protection. It is my handmade lead shield that protects me from X-ray radiation. I will share my experiment about this shield soon. I cover the sterile surgical drape after the lead shield. After draping, I will prepare solutions for the procedure while my technician is preparing the CM setting. Let's begin from the CM AP view. I try not to skip this step because I can figure out the whole picture of the spine and plan the trajectory. Then, I let my CM turn to an ipsilateral oblique position. He said his right buttock pain disturbed him most, and I expressed it to him I understood. It is the sequential image of the oblique sagittal scan of the right L5-S1 foramenal area. There is a foramenal stenosis of L5-S1 with compression of L5 dorsal root ganglion. I think he has a high iliac crest that can obstruct the needle trajectory, so I lessen the degree of the rotation to avoid the needle touch to the iliac bone. I clean the surgical site one more. Secondary infection is the worst scenario of the interventional procedure. Let's begin puncture the skin on the oblique CM guidance. I always protect my hand with the lead gloves and placenta long forceps. At first, the needle will move dramatically, but once the needle takes its track tightly, I can manipulate the needle with my bare hand. I turn to AP view and then more advanced needle on AP view. I am steering the needle by controlling the bent needle tip. Then turn to control lateral oblique image for fine tuning. Let me describe the CM anatomy. It is the tangential view of the spinous process. It is the contour of vertebral bodies. It is the contour of the transverse process. It is the outer margin of the pedicle. I advanced the needle under the pedicle, but I'm not satisfied with this image because the inferior border is not clear at this angle. So I adjusted the CM angle to visualize the inferior border of the pedicle. I said, Please tell me if you have any, any discomfort. Then, I administer the contrast media on contralateral lateral oblique image guidance. Again, make sure your hand is out of the field of X-ray radiation. Observe the contrast pattern on the contralateral lateral oblique image and AP image. <laughs> After confirming the transforaminal epidural space, I gently administer steroid mixture and listen to the patient's response. A high concentration of dextrose makes you feel stiff when you push the pump. Next, it is my second target. I intend to approach the inferior recess of right L5 as on facet joint. Because Facet joint hydrodissection and steroid will help open the facet joint and widen the primary space. It will help relieve reticular pain. I will begin from the AP view.
I advanced a needle on the, these image lines. It is the inferior articular process of L4 and L5. It is the imaginary line of the superior articular process of L5 and S1. I will find a gap between two lines and it will be my target point. Let me help you to understand the CM anatomy by illustration. It is the inferior articular process of L4 and L5. It is the imaginary line of superior articular process of L5 S1. Then, I turn to ipsilateral oblique position to confirm the needle tip. Let me describe the CM anatomy. It is the inferior articular process of L4 and L5. It is the imaginary line of the superior articular process of L5 and S1. Let me match with the illustration. It is the inferior articular process of L4 and L5. It is the imaginary line of the superior articular process of L5 and S1. I think my needle tip is in the orifice of inferior recess. I do not always succeed in finding the inferior recess. I can watch some contrast media leaking out of the capsule and some contrast fills the joint correctly. Thank you for watching. See you in the following videos.